Hello everyone, this is what I'm reading. <laughs> okay, so this is a what am I reading right now video. This is filmed around mid-January 2023. I have three books I'm reading right now and I'm going to tell you a little bit about each of them. All right, the first book, I don't actually have a physical copy in my hand because um, I am listening to it on Audibles. That book is called The Watchmaker's Daughter. It's by Kate Morton. Yes, that is The Clockmaker's Daughter by Kate Morton. I listened to another novel of hers on Audibles um, in the semi-recent uh, past that was called The Forgotten Garden. And I really like how she mixes um, historical uh, historical settings, time periods, that kind of thing, um, along with her story. I will say, um, I think I'm, I'm past the 50% mark. I think I have at this point like four hours left of the book and I'm enjoying it. I'm not like riveted. Okay. Not, I'm not finding it like something I feel like I have to keep listening to constantly, but I am enjoying it while I am driving around or riding on my bicycle. And so I, and I do like her, uh, I like her work. I like her writing style very much. And the narrator who I can't remember who that is, okay, that's narrating it on audibles is doing an excellent job. Um, if I had to say anything that's kind of off putting a little bit, uh, if there are a lot of characters and, uh, in the book goes through various, uh, time periods. Yes. The clockmaker's daughter, there's a character who is the clockmaker's daughter and she's in there a lot, but, um, but yeah, the near, in fact, the point of view kind of jumps around from her point of view and then also a third, uh, person, like a, you know, third person limited type outside narrator. I will say there, I am struggling a little bit with, uh, the fact that there are a lot of characters and there's a lot of jumping around in between time periods. In fact, there's a couple of male characters that I have kind of gotten a little bit mixed up on. I think at this point now I have them figured out, but uh, for a while there I was getting a little confused because both of the men were staying at this one particular house, but at different time periods, like one was in the 40s and one is present day. And um, so it was a little, sometimes we would jump in between It's the, the um, time period we do a lot of jumping around between time periods. It's not chronological at all. So sometimes it's a little bit jarring, like, okay, where are we at? So a little bit of time marker help would be uh, useful in this, but I'm having a good time with it. I'll do a more thorough uh, review at some point, probably on my channel. So please make sure you have subscribed, hit the bell icon, give us a thumbs up, please. Also, I'm trying to grow this little channel over here and that way you will see uh, book reviews that I have as well. All right. So, the other two books I have here, let me talk about this one. This is a nonfiction book and I'm not a huge nonfiction reader. Typically I read nonfiction as um, a way to learn about something, to do research or that kind of thing. I don't really find nonfiction something I sit down and read to relax with. Um, so this is kind of way out of my wheelhouse. I, I did show this when I uh, purchased it. It's called The Untethered Soul, The Journey Beyond Yourself. Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, Michael A. Singer is the author. There you go. And I got this at a uh, little bookstore that I really, really like in Cocoa Village, Florida. Um, I honestly, I just saw the cover and I was like, God, that's so pretty. And I picked it up and then I read the back and I was like, well, you know, this is a little bit, you know, out of my wheelhouse. Um, who are you really? Okay. I have read the first chapter of this. <laughs> That's all I've read so far. And I, I got it quite a few months ago. The first chapter basically says you have an, an inner voice and I kind of knew that, but okay. <laughs> so, um, chapter two is entitled your inner roommate. Okay. So I haven't given up on this, but it's, it's not, it's not, you know, pulling me in to read it. Um, Mostly because honestly, I'm having more fun uh, in my uh, little bit of spare reading time reading this book. <laughs> okay, Big Chicas Don't Cry. It's by Annette Chavez Mar uh, Macia. Okay, I got this as part of a um, what was this? This was from the Scribbler box. So yeah, this this book has uh, four. 
I guess four protagonists really and it kind of feels like I'm reading four books sometimes but they're all tied together they're four uh, four young women I say young women because I'm an old lady I think they're probably pushing 30 um, and two of them are sisters and the other two are cousins so they're all related um, obviously it, it's a um, Latina family um, it's a present-day setting in Los Angeles um, California and we learn about their lives and their struggles and um, like I said each each character has some kind of issue she's dealing with how she's gonna tie it all together um, are the jury still out on that <laughs> I'm um, I'm a little past the halfway point so it's not it's not a super difficult read um, honestly I haven't been reading a lot my my Christmas break was not pleasant and was full of a lot of difficult situations that I had to deal with so I didn't really have a lot of downtime to, to read and when I did have downtime um, I, I just couldn't get my mind into doing very much of anything um, so I'm kind of coming back to all this but yeah so I'm, I'm enjoying this it's fairly easy to read uh, like I said the only thing is sometimes I kind of feel like I'm reading four books I'd like to see more I would say at this point things are starting to kind of merge a little bit together but it sure took a while <laughs> and uh, I do know who all four characters are now but the first I guess maybe the first four or five chapters I was kind of struggling like uh, who are these people who I was getting the the mixed up a little bit but but anyway, that's, I, will, I will give a full review of this at some point, but that is the other book that I'm reading. So yeah, so that's, that's three, that's plenty. <laughs> Listening to The Clockmaker's Daughter, reading a teensy bit of nonfiction with um, The Untethered Soul, and enjoying some fiction on my evening hours. Where I usually read a, like an hour or so before I go to bed. Um, Big Chicas Don't Cry. Let me know if you have read any of these or if you're familiar with them in the comments down below. And also let me know what you're reading right now too. Thank you for stopping by to see what's on my bookshelf. Bye-bye.